an inferno in what's known as Chile's Garden City. Strong winds of up to 60 kilometers an hour and scorching heat have been feeding the flames, destroying everything in their path, especially homes. Look, there is nothing left of my house, nothing as you can see. The neighbor across the street could not leave. He burned to death because he did not want to leave his house. I lived alone here. President Gabriel Boric declared a state of emergency in the Valparaiso region and addressed the nation to say that so far dozens have died. Given the conditions of this tragedy, the number of fatal victims will surely increase in the coming hours. But the figures we are announcing are those that have been confirmed by the appropriate authorities. The fires come in the middle of a heat wave and as tens of thousands of Chileans have been heading to the coastal region of Valparaiso for summer holidays. Traffic jams on the main highway are hindering the mobility of firefighters and ambulances. The government has declared a curfew from 9 p.m. to 10 a.m. in the region. The curfew will help to free up the roads for emergency vehicles, but also so that people who must be evacuated can do so as quickly as possible and so that no one can be left wandering around the areas that have been evacuated. The government is trying to prevent looting. Thousands of people have been forced to evacuate in just minutes, but some, especially elderly people with limited mobility, could not escape in time. The government says it will investigate arson as the cause of these deadly fires. But first, says the president, the priority is to save lives. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.